Hello chef, greetings of the day. I welcome you to a yet another video on culinary terms. Today we'll be learning culinary terms related to the alphabet P. There will be two videos for this alphabet. Today we will look into the first video. So let's begin. The objective of the session is to learn technical terms in culinary. The first word that we're going to look into is pan gravy. It is a sauce made with pan drippings, which get collected in the tray during roasting of the meat and poultry. The drippings are diluted with the help of wine or stock, cooked further and converted to a sauce, which is known as a pan gravy. Pan broil is to cook uncovered in a saute pan or skillet without fat. Pan fry is to cook in a moderate amount of fat in an uncovered pan. Panino or panini, originally a small Italian sandwich made with dinner roll or a grill sandwich usually made in a device that grills both sides at once and compresses to a sandwich. The next one is panko, coarse Japanese style breadcrumbs used to bread meat, fish, poultry pieces before frying. Or papillon is wrapped in paper or foil so that the food is steamed in its own moisture. The next words are parboil and par cook, which can be used interchangeably, basically means to cook partially or to boil or simmer liquid and then partially cook or half cook the vegetable into it. Most of the times it is used to retain color. The next term is parfait, a dessert consisting of alternating layers of ice cream and fruit or syrup in a tall, narrow glass. The next word is parmentier, is a product which is garnished or contains potatoes. Par stock is a term related to the stores department. It is the inventory of goods that an operation must have on hand to continue operating between deliveries. The next word is pasta, a general term used for any shape of macaroni product or egg noodles. The next word is pasteurized, is a heat treatment given to milk to kill bacteria that might cause disease or spoilage. Pastry cream, a thick custard sauce made with eggs and starch. Pate, a dish made or a term associated with a product made of force meat baked in a crust. Pate en chou is a French term used for chou pastry, which is a soft dough used for making eclairs and cream puffs, also called as an eclair paste. Pate a pate is a dough or pastry used to make a crust for the pate. Pate a champagne is a pate or terrine made with force meat, which is coarse in nature. The next term is pâté en croûte, which is translated in English means a pastry crust. Also means a force meat baked in a crust. Pathogen is a bacteria responsible for causing diseases. Pâtissière in English means a pastry cook. 
The next word is Pishmalba, a sundae consisting of a vanilla ice cream, a peach half, and a melba sauce made of raspberry. There is also a story associated which says that the product was made in the honor of the famous opera singer, Lady Melba. Persiad, a mixture of breadcrumbs, parsley, garlic, and lime used to coat roast meat items, usually lamb. Pesco vegetarian refers to a vegetarian diet that includes fish. Philadelphia style ice cream. It's a type of ice cream which does not contain egg. Pigment is the color pigment present in fruits and vegetables, for example, chlorophyll in green leafy vegetables. Carotenoids are present in orange and yellow fruits and vegetables. Similarly, the purple color pigment, anthocyanin, would be found in brinjals and so on and so forth. We stop here today for the first part of the video on the alphabet P. Thank you so much for your patient listening. The terms have been referred from the book, Professional Cookery, the sixth edition by Wayne Gilslin. I would also like to thank Google, Shuttershock, Dreamtime.com, Urban Epicurus, Encyclopedia Britannica, Inc. for their images. Do also attempt the quiz mentioned in the description for better learning. For any other queries, doubts, mail on arunsher kar14 at gmail.com. Thank you again.